I'm David O'Brien, deputy head groundsman at Rangers Training Centre. I started off actually working on a golf course um, as a greenkeeper, um, so I kind of moved on from that to football because I'm not really a, a golf fan as such, so I'm more a football fan, big Rangers fan, so it was like a dream job for me kind of thing. So I joined when Walter Smith was a manager and we won our 54th title. So I think that was 2010-11 season, so that must have been what, seven years ago? So I'm 32, so I was 25 when I joined. I'm Greg Ward and I'm a groundsman at Ibrook Stadium. I started when I was 16 year old, uh, just straight from school. I got an apprenticeship and then I was lucky enough that after my apprenticeship there was a job there waiting for me and managed to fill the role. I'm a Rangers fan, yes, but um, it wasn't a job that I'd planned for. I'd actually planned to be a plumber. And then that I seen this job and just thought I'd go for it and lucky enough I, I got it. I like, like physical work and like working within a team. Um, I, I like being outside and just the job itself, being around football, it's really good to enjoy it. To start off it was a dream because, as I said, the first year we won the title um, and we went to things like the, the party afterwards and all the players were there and they were celebrating and having drinks, it was a free bar, so it was a great time. And then I think I kind of, it was like the jinx, we kind of went into administration and that kind of thing. Um, so I've kind of seen the highs and then the lows. Um, but it's good that we've worked all the way back up, so I kind of went through a bit of a journey, so I think now we're back on a good path. It seems that everything wants to dig my pitch up, uh, including Mr Fox. Uh, this we can see here is damage caused by the Fox overnight. Um, it's something that we incur in here on quite a regular basis. Uh, there's no on the side of the pitch, it's going to go mouth areas tend to want to come in here and use this as a playground. Uh, no so good in a match day when we we'll try to prepare the pitch for the game, but that's the damage. We try to dissuade the fox by trapping them and moving them to a different area. Um, unfortunately, this is what we've had overnight. We'll repair it, uh, and probably no one will ever see it but us. Uh, we don't pack the hole back in properly. There's always the danger that a player could get his foot down in that hole. It's on the linesman's run. Some would say, well, no matter about them, but uh, it is quite an area that uh, especially lines run on this side, so we need to pack this in properly to ensure that we don't cause any damage to anyone in the field of play. Match day you should really just come in and it's just a case of cutting a line. Whereas look, during the week you've got to go the divots back in, keep on top of the cutting and then you've just got your fertilising to do, your spraying and everything like that. In the summertime, a typical day is you'll come in at 7 and you'll get all the pitches prepared um, for the first team training, 20s training, all the way down to the kids. So basically you come in in the morning and you'll get the pitches cut, lined, um, repair any damage for the days before training. But that's the hardest thing, try to keep the pitches good in the winter time. Whereas I came from the golf course where it was a summer sport, whereas football is a winter sport. Um, and that is the hardest part, you've got guys training on the pitches every single day and damage gets done but there's no sunshine to recover it so that's the hardest part just trying to keep the, the pitches good in the winter. We get a weekly update from like the uh, Met Office kind of thing but we're all on our phones constantly checking what the weather's going to be to try to plan work especially in the winter time looking at frost. If it's frosty you need to put under soil heating on, put frost sheets down that kind of thing so the weather, I'm, I'll be sitting in the house constantly with the, looking at my weather app so it is, it's, it's a bit of a 24-7 kind of thing. For me, I enjoy match days. I really enjoy your match days. And because I'm down at iBox, it's good to just prepare for the match and just have the game, like looking forward to each game. On a match day, we cut the pitch even twice and then we put the lines on it. And the Roxy that I work with and Alan that I work with, they two cut and I'll line. And also, we've got a lot of stuff to do, it's just generally tidying up and stuff like that. When you're out in the middle of the pitch and, and, and it's a big game, 
it's amazing just feeling all the, when you see all the fans singing and stuff like that. All the noise just goes in the way and if you're out in the pitch, it's like the hairs on your neck stand up. When I first came, you drive in the gates and it's Rangers and my first day I was, can't believe I work at Rangers. And then I was at Ibrox for four years working there uh, and then you're working on the pitch and people ask you all the time, how does it feel? I'm like, it's just like buzzing every day going to your work. So I feel one of, I'm one of these lucky people that actually likes their job. So I think I'm really, I'm really lucky that way.